The Honorable Keisha Thomas is the proud mother of two sons and a daughter, as well as three grandsons. In 2018, she was elected by the voters in the Edison High Region 1 to serve on the Fresno Unified District Trustee Board. She was re-elected in November 2022. Trustee Thomas's resume includes two master's degrees, BS in math and education, and a state license in cosmetology. Her work history lists family construction business, cosmetologist, journeyman cashier, elementary, middle school, and high school teacher and administrator, and businesswoman. She is currently the executive director at Fresno Career Development Institute Incorporated, a nonprofit organization. Her work as the executive director at Fresno Career Development Institute has truly been the center of the community bridging the gap and ensuring her community does not get left behind where clean mobility is concerned. Trustee Thomas, along with a great team, has created a community outreach and engagement process which has truly captured the attention of the community. Trustee Thomas's objective as a trustee on the school board is to do what she can to raise Fresno Unified School District to become a premier school district on the national stage. Her emphasis is ensuring that children are lifted to equal standing and their parents are brought in to participate in their education, training, and employment opportunities. Prior to her election to the Fresno Unified School District Trustee Board, Trustee Thomas found time to give back to her community through working in her church, Fellowship Baptist Church, as Associate Director of the Homeless Ministry and Assistant Director of the Children's Church. Trustee Thomas also serves as a member of the following organizations. Relax, it'll be a while. Executive Director of Fresno Career Development Institute, Golden Charter Academy founder and board member, Delegate for Congressman Jim Costa, The Links board member, Central Valley New Market Tax Credit board member, Women's Democratic Club vice president, National Women's Political Caucus, Kennedy Club and Black Women Organized for Political Action, Lifetime member and member at large, board member for West Fresno Family Resource Center, member of the Latina Democratic Club, delegate for the California School Board Association, an honoree at the Marjorie Mason Top 10 Professional Women and Leading Business Award and member of the League of Women Voters of Fresno County. It is my very great honor to introduce the Honorable Keisha Tom. Oh my goodness, thank, thank you for having me. This has truly already been a pleasure. I have felt so at home from the moment I walked on campus. I have been welcomed, I have been directed, and now I am being applauded by my, it seems long to me. <laughs> because every time somebody reads it, I cringe. I'm like, okay, stop now, that's enough. <laughs> and then the question is always, how do you have time? That's why I chose to say Unstoppable Women. This is Women's Month, the month of March, and we have to praise ourselves and we have to praise each other. So men, we are expecting praise till the end of the month. <laughs> we only have a couple days left, make it good. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I enjoy what I do, but I'll come back to that because my life has truly led me, um, and I'm used to running up, so if I've stepped too far away, somebody raise your hand so I know I, you can't hear me. Um, I am truly a resilient woman, and I say unstoppable because of all the things that have happened in my life, which many of you have been part of, um, or had parts of it happen to you as well. But people don't know your story. You don't know my story, but I didn't come like this. <laughs> it, it has truly been a venture, but the unstoppable woman part is the part that my grandmother played a part in. My mother, with an S, because my birth mother passed when I was 13 years old, right? But, but the universe has led me in a direction that I'm supposed to go in. He gave me an awesome godmother, Mama Rina, who adopted me and who has adopted four kids. She was an amazing woman. We lost her to COVID, but because of her and her guidance, 
I had her, I had her. I'm not sad because I had her and I loved her and she was an unstoppable woman. And she taught me things that I don't think I could have ever learned. And I learn more and more every day by coming in contact with women like you. I have shaken hands today. I have met friends I didn't know I had from the Unified School District that are, is on the third floor. <laughs> People right here in this room. But there's so much more to that. Um, I would have never thought that the universe would have led me in the space that I'm in now. I would have never thought that I would be here right now. And I will be back because I like it. <laughs> When we walked in, my, my sister, um, raise your hand, that's for Nay. My, my kids are here to support me, my niece, my son, one of my sons, I have a daughter, she's at her church, but these are my babies. And this is, besides my trauma, because I say that all parents give their kids trauma, regardless of what we think parents, right? We all traumatize our kids. So from the traumas that I um, happen to um, have to walk through, you know, losing my mother early, you know, being in a household where my father abused me, you know, not, not, not physically, but, you know, I was spanked a lot, you know, things like that. And sometimes there was mental challenges as a kid. Our kids needed to have somebody sitting in the Fresno Unified School District board seat that could identify what they've been through. That is why I chose to do what I do. Not to mention I was a teacher, an administrator, I'm a founder, I want everybody to look at Golden Charter Academy. It is an amazing, amazing charter school where we work on environmental school stewardship. Our kids don't know how to take care of their communities anymore. Our kids don't know how to take care of their air, their water, their animals, each other. So that is what the school was founded on. It's an amazing place for kids to learn. Um, because of my school traumas and the traumas that I saw in the classroom, I went for, from servicing 30 kids, which is like an elementary classroom, to servicing 180 kids, which is 7th, 8th, 7th through 12th grade, to serving 74,000 kids. And now I can touch each and every one of them as well as help staff. I can't leave them behind because they're the reason for the season. But the traumas are what led me here. And I wanna make sure that not only my kids, personal and my 74,000, have the opportunity to be great because we need good stewards of, 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 of humanities. We need people who wanna work in the community, people that wanna work at the church. We have completely fell off post COVID. Sorry, but we have. You know, our kids aren't as engaged. And so I always ask that look me up Call me, my number will be sitting on the back counter. If you wanna give me a call, it's my personal number, but I'm always willing to help and be that resilient, unstoppable woman that my mother's raised, right? Um, my path has been hard and unstoppable is because they told me I couldn't. I like challenges. <laughs> Being challenged is one of the most um, explosive things that happen in my life because it makes me want to push harder. And that, are, that is one of the things that I like to instill in my children, which are the center of my life. My grandsons are the best. <laughs> and we all say that about our grandchildren, right? But just being able to walk in a great life and have peace of mind to know that I'm doing what's right. How many people have peace? Peace is an awesome thing. <laughs> and it is also part of being an unstoppable woman because if you can't find that centerpiece, then I feel that I don't know, I don't feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I wanna go to bed and be able to sleep at night because eventually I'm gonna sleep forever. <laughs> It'll be the end. But I wanna be at peace with the things that I do in the world. I give back to the community. I feed the homeless. I will stop on the side of the road if I see somebody that needs something. And that is truly what it is to be an unstoppable, and I'm gonna say Fresnan now. Because, you know, I, and I hate to do politics when I'm doing things like this, but Jerry is, has been trying to lead a one Fresno. Everybody doesn't, 
understand that, but I believe in a one Fresno. It shouldn't be about one space or another. And that's what I have felt, felt since I walked into this room. I really wish my baby son could have been here. Um, he is, has not been able to find a place in worship that has made him comfortable. So again, I say, I will be back. And next time I might want to sing at the stage though. <laughs> <laughs> I love to sing. I saw the ladies dancing in the back and I said, oh my goodness, I'm, I think I might, I think I might be standing up dancing. We have the dance crew in the back, but just being able to be in a great space that is safe and comfortable. And I want my children to be able to experience that, experience life with peace and experience this. I'm not gonna talk too long, because I'm not a long talker, but if there's anything I can ever do for anyone in this room to help be unstoppable, please let me know. God, God bless you all, and I appreciate you. <laughs>